Hi. Hello. Hi. I got your last last class. Uh, I see. Look at my face with glasses. Are are you wearing an eyeglasses? Uh, <laughs> Hi. Nice hey. to meet you. Wow. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, uh this <laughs> my TV. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 3D. Yeah, you're wearing the eyeglasses when you are watching 3D movies. Yeah. My phone even broke in this. this. I always bought I always buy head headsets because my kids are having their online classes. So sometimes I bought five pieces. I will check your homework tomorrow, baby. I don't have energy already to check it. I I I sent it uh, from mail. I received it yesterday, last night, baby. I oh, received it. I see. On my phone. Oh, I thought. Oh, Kube has a uh, submitted his her homework. So we will be having a new set, baby, of lesson. What is the little girl doing? I can hear her. Oh, she's talking with my mom. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah. Oh, you know what? What time I started today? Two p.m. Oh, no, no. Today, huh? I started teaching 2 p.m. I started 2 p.m. and I am not yet standing. I am not yet standing from my I I I I stand when I went I when I will go to the bathroom. You should have a rest. Yes, you are my last class, baby. Okay, test four. Let's have this one. So we will be having four parts. So the first one is questions one to seven. I think this the, the listening is the easiest part for the student. They will just listen, right? Yeah. The, the hardest part is the writing. <laughs> right? Great writing. The writing is the one that you're going to write 100 words. <laughs> yes. Writing and reading. It's yeah. uh, hard like when the reading is the first page and then you're going to to turn to the next page yes <laughs> okay the easiest is speaking right yeah. okay okay ah. Why? so there are seven questions in this part each question there are three pictures and a short recording for each question choose the correct answer a b or c i by the way I am very sleepy because last night when I saw your email, I wasn't able to get my sleep because my neighbor is so noisy, my goodness. Oh, what? What what happened? They are talking. I I I can hear their conversation. I can hear the the sound of the chair. Oh, someone is entering. That's I can hear the I can hear the the washing of the dishes. I can hear their fighting. Oh, fighting too? Yes, 2 a.m. in the morning. That's what? why I am very sleepy now. I don't know. Oh. They are talking and then they are fighting. <laughs> fighting too? I don't want to hear their conversation, but accidentally I I heard it. I, I didn't mean to hear to hear it, but then it's because of no one is talking and it's 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 more it's it's morning one a.m. in the morning, so they are the only one talking. So I I I wasn't able to get my sleep. My goodness. Okay, let's try to. Example. Where did the man leave his camera? 
Oh, no. I haven't got my camera. But you used it just now to take a photograph of the fountain. Oh, I remember. I put it down on the steps while I put my coat on. Well, let's drive back quickly. It might still be there. On the step? Okay. Example. Where did the man leave? Okay, next is new words. Let's have the new words. Hmm? Baseball cap. Baseball cap. Cushion. Do you know cushion. what is a do you know what is a cushion? I don't know. It's it's when you are sitting the, the sofa, the, the soft sofa, the soft part is the cushion. Sailing. Do you want to go sailing? Uh, not now. <laughs> yeah. I keep on. Because, my goodness. We keep so on do that all day. Yeah, you like sleeping, baby. Yeah, okay, I like sleeping. Surfing, surfing, riding. Okay, baby, can you read? Now, this is the cushion, baby. The, the pillow. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, can you read all the words, baby? Baseball cap, cushion, selling, wine, wine surfing. It's wind surfing, baby. Wind? Really? Surfing, yeah. Wind surfing and yeah. horse riding. I tried already the sailing and the horseback riding or the horse riding, but not the wind surfing. Uh, Okay, baby, do you have any questions about the words? What are the words that you don't understand? No. Okay, let's go. Ah, Simon went up today. Now, before our class. Mommy, mommy. Oh. He, he told me, you look, you look so pity. <laughs> uh, really? I, uh, you, uh, I am pity you. He is telling me, you're not yet eating dinner. You're not yet going down. You're not yet finished. <laughs> I am waiting for you downstairs. He is waiting for me. Uh, okay, let's start. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Where will the woman go first after work? Are you and Sarah going straight to the restaurant from work tonight? Actually, I'm leaving work early because I need to do some shopping in the market. And I'm going to meet Sarah after that outside the cinema. She doesn't know where the restaurant is, you see. You're playing tennis after work, aren't you? Yes. So, I'll see you at the restaurant. Now listen again. Are you and Sarah going straight to the restaurant from work tonight? Actually, I'm leaving work early because I need to do some shopping in the market. And I'm going to meet Sarah after that outside the cinema. She doesn't know where the restaurant is, you see. You're playing tennis after work, aren't you? Yes. So, I'll see you at the restaurant. Two. What can festival visitors see every day? The Arts Centre in London is holding a festival of Irish culture from the 4th to the 12th of April. An exhibition of paintings is open daily and on some weekday evenings the theatre has special events including plays and films. At the weekend, concerts of Irish music will take place in the town hall. Now listen again. The Arts Centre in London is holding a festival of Irish culture from the 4th to the 12th of April. An exhibition of paintings is open daily and on some weekday evenings the theatre has special events including plays and films. At the weekend, concerts of Irish music will take place in the town hall. Three. 
What souvenir will the boy's mother bring? What colour T-shirt shall I bring you from New York, Fred? I prefer black, but actually a baseball cap would be a good idea. Hmm. What about another model car for your collection? I could get you a New York taxi. Great! I really like the sports car you bought me last time. Now listen again. What colour T-shirt shall I bring you from New York, Fred? I'd prefer black, but actually a baseball cap would be a good idea. Hmm. What about another model car for your collection? I could get you a New York taxi. Great! I really like the sports car you bought me last time. Four. What time is the woman's hair appointment? I'd like to make an appointment to have my hair cut, please. This Friday or Saturday in the morning, if you can manage it. Let me see. We can do Friday at ten or eleven thirty. Then on Saturday there's nine thirty or twelve o'clock. I'll take the earlier one on Saturday, please. Now listen again. I'd like to make an appointment to have my hair cut, please. This Friday or Saturday in the morning, if you can manage it. Let me see. We can do Friday at ten or eleven thirty. Then on Saturday there's nine thirty or twelve o'clock. I'll take the earlier one on Saturday, please. Five. Where's the TV guide? Have you seen the TV guide? Isn't it on top of the television? I had it when I was watching the film last night. I expect you left it by your chair then. Here it is, under the cushion where nobody can find it. You should put it back in its place by the telephone. Then we'd all know where it is. Now listen again. Have you seen the TV guide? Isn't it on top of the television? I had it when I was watching the film last night. I expect you left it by your chair then. Here it is under the cushion where nobody can find it. You should put it back in its place by the telephone. Then we'd all know where it is. Six. What does the man decide to take, Tracy? I'm going to see Tracy in hospital, but I can't think of what to take her. People always take flowers. So she'll have lots already, for sure.、Mm. I always think it's nice to have something to read myself. But as Tracy's got her walkman with her, what about something to listen to? What a good idea! It's better than taking sweets, certainly, because I know she's on a special diet while she's in hospital. Now listen again. I'm going to see Tracy in hospital, but I can't think of what to take her. People always take flowers. So she'll have lots already for sure.、Mm. I always think it's nice to have something to read myself. But as Tracy's got her walkman with her, what about something to listen to? What a good idea! It's better than taking sweets, certainly, because I know she's on a special diet while she's in hospital. Seven. Which sport has the man just started? Hi. How was your holiday? Great. Really good windsurfing and sailing. You know how much I enjoy them. And horse riding. I really want to go again now I've tried it. And the swimming pool was wonderful too. Much warmer than the one I usually swim in. <laughs> Holidays are just too short. Now listen again. Hi, how was your holiday? Great, really good windsurfing and sailing. You know how much I enjoy them, and horse riding. I really want to go again now I've tried it, and the swimming pool was wonderful too. Much warmer than the one I usually swim in. <laughs> Holidays are just too short. That is the end of part one.
let's try it. Okay, there's already an answer. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. Huh? You just feel sleepy, baby. <laughs> Okay, good job. It's nice when you are when you feel sleepy, baby. You are perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, eight to thirteen, baby. You will hear a man called John Daly talking about the travel programs he makes for television. For each question, choose the correct answer: A, B, or C. Ready? Okay. This is easy. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a man called John Dalin talking about the travel programs he makes for television. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have forty five seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. People always ask me why I only travel the hard way. A lot of television travel programs are about relaxing holidays on the beach, but I've only ever made documentaries about really long trips. The last trip I did was a 50,000 mile journey around the Pacific Ocean, and it took 12 months. But then my very first trip was a round-the-world journey, and the most difficult one was probably a car journey from the North Pole to the South Pole. As you can imagine, I've seen a lot of the world. I'm lucky to be in really excellent health, but life is very short, and I've done so much travelling that I want to change. Travelling long distances makes you extremely tired, and although it's still a great pleasure for me, I want to do something more relaxing now. I think my next television series might be made nearer England. There's some really interesting work going on in Wales where they've just found what remains of a 2,000 year old town. Or I might do something about farms in France or even cycling in Holland. There's always something to film if you look hard enough. But I hope the programs I've made about the really long trips will encourage other people to get on a plane and have some adventures. Some people seem to be afraid of going to a strange country and perhaps being ill there. But maybe they realize now that if I can do these trips, so can they. I'm only a very ordinary person. And obviously, you don't have to travel on your own, as I always have. I must say that until recently, I hadn't ever worried about being so far from home, even when the children were very small. But while I was filming in Borneo last year, my wife had to have an emergency operation and it really frightened me because I couldn't get back to England. Everything was fine in the end, but I wouldn't want to be so far away if anything like that happened to my family again. Perhaps if I spend more time at home, I can do more writing. I've done two books so far. I write about places I've seen and my feelings about them. I don't think I'll ever write fiction or poetry, but I'd be interested in writing newspaper articles. My family says I'm very difficult to live with when I'm writing at home. Perhaps that's why they've never complained about me travelling, eh? <laughs> Now listen again. 
People always ask me why I only travel the hard way. A lot of television travel programs are about relaxing holidays on the beach, but I've only ever made documentaries about really long trips. The last trip I did was a 50,000 mile journey around the Pacific Ocean, and it took 12 months. But then my very first trip was a round the world journey. And the most difficult one was probably a car journey from the North Pole to the South Pole. As you can imagine, I've seen a lot of the world. I'm lucky to be in really excellent health, but life is very short and I've done so much traveling. I want to change. Traveling long distances makes you extremely tired. And although it's still a great pleasure for me, I want to do something more relaxing now. I think my next television series might be made nearer England. There's some really interesting work going on in Wales, where they've just found what remains of a 2,000-year-old town. Or I might do something about farms in France, or even cycling in Holland. There's always something to film, if you look hard enough. But I hope the programs I've made about the really long trips will encourage other people to get on a plane and have some adventures. Some people seem to be afraid of going to a strange country and perhaps being ill there. But maybe they realize now that if I can do these trips, so can they. I'm only a very ordinary person. And obviously, you don't have to travel on your own, as I always have. I must say that until recently, I hadn't ever worried about being so far from home, even when the children were very small. But while I was filming in Borneo last year, my wife had to have an emergency operation and it really frightened me because I couldn't get back to England. Everything was fine in the end, but I wouldn't want to be so far away if anything like that happened to my family again. Perhaps if I spend more time at home, I can do more writing. I've done two books so far. I write about places I've seen and my feelings about them. I don't think I'll ever write fiction or poetry, but I'd be interested in writing newspaper articles. My family says I'm very difficult to live with when I'm writing at home. Perhaps that's why they've never complained about me travelling, eh? <laughs> That is the end of part. I don't know this. That's correct. Okay. Let's have let's have the vocabulary north and south pole. North, south. Open, brave, fear. North. South Pole, ruin, brave, and fear. Okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, this one, baby, we're going to have a woman talking on the radio about an exhibition of food. Wow, and cooking. For each mm. question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. I am hungry right now. I hate cooking. Oh, yeah. I have a cake. Now, but it's <laughs> turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear a woman talking on the radio about an exhibition of food and cooking. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Today, I want to tell you about the Good Food Show at the Capital Exhibition Centre. There are more than 300 stands at the exhibition. I really enjoyed my visit. First, I looked at the books on sale. Jane Addams, the famous television cook, was there signing copies of her latest book. 
It's about making cakes, so I had to have it. My family loves sweet things, and I really liked her last book about making bread. There's a different famous cook there every day, signing books and talking to people. In fact, there's advice on all sorts of topics. I listened to someone from the Central Market talking about what you should look for when you buy fish. I've always been nervous about buying it because how can you tell if it's really fresh? Well, I think I've got a better idea now. Then, in the exhibition theatre, I saw a cook prepare a healthy but tasty lunch using only vegetables. They'll prepare a different dish every day. Also in the theatre, at two o'clock every day. A cook talks about preparing delicious desserts in under fifteen minutes. I tasted one made with chocolate, and it was out of this world. At the show, you can try food from all around the world, from Chile to China, <laughs> and I did. I enjoyed the food from Canada most of all, although everything I tasted was really good. The exhibition centre is open from nine a.m. to eight p.m. from Monday to Saturday. And from ten until six on Sundays, but hurry because the last day is the twenty-third of March, when the Good Food Show has to make way for the Boat Show. For more details, phone the ticket hotline. Again, baby. Okay, let's try again. Now listen again. Today, I want to tell you about the Good Food Show at the Capital Exhibition Centre. There are more than three hundred stands at the exhibition. I really enjoyed my visit. First, I looked at the books on sale. Jane Adams, the famous television cook, was there signing copies of her latest book. It's about making cakes, so I had to have it. My family loves sweet things, and I really liked her last book about making bread. There's a different famous cook there every day, signing books and talking to people. In fact, there's advice on all sorts of topics. I listened to someone from the Central Market talking about what you should look for when you buy fish. I've always been nervous about buying it because how can you tell if it's really fresh? Well, I think I've got a better idea now. Then, in the exhibition theatre, I saw a cook prepare a healthy but tasty lunch using only vegetables. They'll prepare a different dish every day. Also in the theatre, at two o'clock every day, a cook talks about preparing delicious desserts in under fifteen minutes. I tasted one made with chocolate, and it was out of this world. At the show, you can try food from all around the world. From Chile to China, <laughs> and I did. I enjoyed the food from Canada most of all, although everything I tasted was really good. The exhibition centre is open from nine a.m. to eight p.m. from Monday to Saturday, and from ten until six on Sundays. But hurry, because the last day is the twenty-third of March, when the Good Food Show has to make way for the Boat Show. For more details, phone the ticket. That is the end of part three. Okay, cakes, fresh fish, vegetables. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. I got your point. Taste Canada and whoa, you are you are alive. You're still alive, baby. Okay. Okay, next is questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. Oh, oh. it's just 9, 10, 29. Yes, baby. Why? No. <laughs> so you will hear a conversation. Uh, actually, baby, listening is very easy and <clears throat> not quite long, right? So in, in here, baby, you're just going to answer yes or no, A or B, okay? Okay. Easy. 
Now turn to part 4. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a teenage girl called Anna and her father about a party. Decide if each sentence correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Are you busy, Dad? I've got something I want to ask you. I've been invited to a party on Saturday. Would you give me a lift there? Where is the party, then? It's at Tom's house. His sister's 18 on Saturday, and they're having a big celebration. It's going to be brilliant. They're having a disco, and Tom's mum's a wonderful cook, so the food will be good. They've invited all their friends from school, but their cousins will be there too. Well, I hope the weather stays warm so you can be outside. It sounds as if a lot of people are coming, but it all sounds fine to me. It'll be nice for you to go out at the weekend. You spend too much time at home studying. <laughs> now, what time does the party start and what time does it finish? It starts at 8 o'clock and finishes about half past 12. But Jane's going as well and her dad will collect us and bring us home afterwards. It's all arranged. Mm, it'll be difficult for us to take you. Mum and I are going to see a film which starts at 7.15. Let's see... Why don't we collect you and Jane at the end of the party? Then you could ask Jane's dad to take you both to the party at eight. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'll go and give Jane a ring. Uh, just one thing, though. We'll pick you up at 11.30. I really think that's late enough. Oh, Dad! That's so early. Remember, we don't have to go to school on Sunday. Uh, don't make us leave an hour before everyone else. Well... I suppose it is the weekend. Let's say midnight, but definitely no later. Oh, but... That's my final decision. <laughs> now, go and ring Jane before I change my mind. Okay. Because uh, when I was in college, I am like that baby. Yeah, my mom. Again. Are you busy, Dad? I've got something I want to ask you. I've been invited to a party on Saturday. Would you give me a lift there? Where is the party, then? It's at Tom's house. His sister's 18 on Saturday, mm. and they're having a big celebration. It's going to be brilliant. They're having a disco, and Tom's mum's a wonderful cook, so the food will be good. They've invited all their friends from school, but their cousins will be there, too. Well, I hope the weather stays warm so you can be outside. It sounds as if a lot of people are coming, but it all sounds fine to me. It'll be nice for you to go out at the weekend. You spend too much time at home studying. <laughs> now, what time does the party start and what time does it finish? It starts at 8 o'clock and finishes about half past 12. But Jane's going as well and her dad will collect us and bring us home afterwards. It's all arranged. Mm, it'll be difficult for us to take you. Mum and I are going to see a film which starts at 7.15. Let's see. Why don't we collect you and Jane at the end of the party? Then you could ask Jane's dad to take you both to the party at 8. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'll go and give Jane a ring. Uh, just one thing, though. We'll pick you up at 11.30. I really think that's late enough. Oh, Dad! That's so early! Remember, we don't have to go to school on Sunday. Don't make us leave an hour before everyone else. Well, I suppose it is the weekend. Let's say midnight, but definitely no later. Oh, but... That's my final decision. Now, 
Go and ring Jane before I change my mind. Okay. Hmm. Okay. When I was in college, I am like that. Collect, relation, attend. Hmm. Collect, relation, attend. Okay. What are the words? What words that you don't understand? Nothing. It's very easy, right? Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, let's try That is the end of part oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your the question is uh you don't uh how, how can I say it? Uh, sometimes I am like that. Okay, that's fine, baby. Okay, give something and give some somebody a ring or make somebody uh, that's a verb you're going to make a, a verb it change one's mind so these are the expressions baby can you hear it? can you say it again give somebody a ring or call so you're going to call someone make okay. somebody happy or the what is your verb or make somebody happy ah. Okay, make one. Wait, wait. Why is V? Why is verb? That's not a verb. That, uh, it's, it's not supposed to be a verb. It should be adjective. You are going to. Yeah. Okay. Make somebody laugh. Yes, you are, uh, mm. you are descri describing. Right? Yeah. And change one's mind. Change one's mind. Not oh, wait. What's that mean? It means, for example, I want to go see today. Oh, tomorrow. I, I decided to go tomorrow. So you change my mind. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I told you. It's very. It's more easy the the listening. We finish it. Most of the lessons, the reading, the writing. We cannot we, we, we don't we don't finish it on time. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes, we're done. I thought I wasn't able to make it, baby, because I am very sleepy and my I I, I slept at 2, 2 a.m. and then I woke up. I I woke up at 7 a.m. because of time when we'll go to school or we'll go to we'll attend his online class. Okay. Okay. So see you again. Oh, I will message the 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 admin to update the the what do you call it? The Zoom. Okay. okay. See you, baby. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.